So in this step, we're gonna cover the cable management of the machine. So we just got done uh, routing all the cables on this machine and, and what we're gonna do is walk through step by step what we did uh, to do the strain relief, um, you know, of the appropriate amount of slack in order to get the machine such that you could jog it in all areas and not have any uh, cable issues. Uh, so the first step is you're gonna wanna jog um, the spindle to the front right corner. Uh, just get within a half inch or so of the hard, the hard limits. And then for the Z axis, you wanna jog it all the way down. You can just run it right up to the hard stop. There's a built in hard stop. So you could just go ahead and hit that and get it all the way down. And this is the uh, starting point where you want the machine when you start routing the cables and, uh, and determining the appropriate length of, uh, and the slack and all that. So where I always start is with the limit switches. So super important with limit switches is that you wanna have, you wanna build in some strain relief for these delicate wires. And so the way we do that, is by um, the, the limit switch cable comes out, we loop it into a 180 degree loop, and then we zip tie it onto the cable of the stepper motor where it comes out of its strain relief. Nice thing about doing this is that we can build in a little bit of slack in these delicate cables and then those aren't gonna get uh, harmed. And then if this cable gets pulled on inadvertently, it applies load to the, um, to the strain relief uh, for the motor and it doesn't hurt our limit switch cables. So there's four limit switches on the machine. You're gonna to wanna to do that for both of the Y switches and uh, for the X switch as I've shown, and then also for the Z axis switch. Uh, the next step that I do is on the, on the Y axis motors. So what we're gonna do is bring these Y axis motor cable and limit switch cable all the way up to essentially the, uh, the bend in the cable support tube. So those are gonna come up here as I've shown. We do that on both sides. You just zip tie it right onto the cable support tube. And then those cables are just gonna run down the back of the machine. Uh, that's, that covers the Y axis for X axis. Since we're in the front, um, since the gantry is all the way at the front, we're gonna do the same thing, except we're gonna bring it all the way up to the, to the bend in the cable support tube, but just a little bit of slack, not a lot of slack, just really, you know, just a few inches of slack is, is all that's needed here. Um, and, that, and that ensures when we drive in the um, positive Y direction up to the limit switches, um, we don't have excessive slack that can kind of get caught up in the lead screw or um, in the work being done on the machine. Uh, from there, we jump over to the Z axis. I'll walk over here. So the first step here is to strain relief um, the limit switch cable. So this is done somewhat similarly, but since the position of the limit switch is different relative to the motor, it's, it's a little bit different. Um, basically, we're gonna bring the limit switch up and then just zip tie it directly onto the uh, Z axis stepper motor cable where it comes out of the strain relief. And then that can just kind of dangle here um, temporarily. And then what you do is you take the stepper motor cables and you form a loop, or not a loop, but it's really a, a 180 degree turnaround and then we're going to zip tie those along with the Z-axis stepper motor cable in two locations, um, at the top and at the bottom. Now you're gonna need to use two zip ties to create a loop big enough to get around the motor. So there's four zip ties total here, but that just makes a nice and secure uh, strain relief for, these, um, for the spindle motor cables. So coming out of the Z-axis off of the motor, we've got four cables. We've got the encoder cable, for the motor, the power cable, the Z-axis stepper motor cable, and then we have the limit switch cable, so four cables. I added a few zip ties just to make them into a loom, essentially. And then the connection point that works best is just about six inches or so ahead of the dog leg, and then basically not a whole lot of slack, just a little bit, just an inch or two of slack um, is what you want here. Um, so the next step here is that that covers all of the, um, uh, as far as the machine goes, uh, the um, cable management on the machine. Uh, off of the machine separately, we've got some, uh, some zip ties that we attach. If you have the control kit to run the USB cable down the supporting arm, and there's a couple of holes where you can put some zip ties and then that just goes off onto the box. So that covers all of the uh, basic cable management. Now, the last thing that you want to do is jog the machine kind of throughout its entire envelope. 
make sure that the cables aren't getting hung up anywhere, make sure there's um, not excessive slack, make sure there's enough slack. Uh, so I'm gonna do that, I'm just gonna pick up my, my jog pendant. First thing I'm gonna do is just jog Z all the way up, make sure that those cables don't bind. I just hit the limit switch, so I gotta reset this. So my cabling is good here. I've got enough slack here, but not too much slack that it's drooping over. I was also checking the limit switch cables, making sure that those weren't getting hung up on the cover and they're not. So now I'm gonna to jog to the, uh, to the back. I'm gonna jog the gantry to the back in the positive Y direction. Check that. Just gonna get kind of close to the limit switches here. So that looks good. Now I'm gonna jog it over to the X direction. That's good. Now I'm gonna jog it up to the front left. So that covers cable management on the base machine. If you're not gonna be installing the machine enclosure, you can go ahead and add a couple of more zip ties to this loom back here um, where it comes out of the box. Um, some people like to uh, zip tie this onto the cable support tube or you can just let it kind of drape off the back of the machine. Um, if you're gonna be installing the machine enclosure, these will pass through a grommet on the back panel. Uh, so that'll be covered in the uh, machine enclosure installation or assembly instructions. Uh, for the next video, we're going to cover uh, homing the machine for the first time, setting the uh, limit switch, soft limits on the machine, and then also uh, running the break-in program, which is going to be the first time that we power up uh, the spindle and start uh, breaking in the bearings and getting it up to temperature. So we'll cover that in the next video, and uh, thanks for watching.